Is it number 10, Robbie Cahill? Yep. Yeah. I think so. I think that was. That's Jit. Another uh, Stanford guy. I think he won with Stanford when they won College Nationals finally. Nice guy. No, that was, uh, anyway. That wasn't Cahill? We'll see. Moving the disc. It's like more of like a horizontal stack Nick again. Handler, number 11. Okay. Look like uh, a chirped it. It was a yeah, chirped throw. Just throw yeah. away. Ooh, nice bid. Nice bid. From sure Woody. Uh, yeah, Moses with the disc. Looking for Fleming up the line. Uh, let's see. Fleming, as pointed out by someone online, usually plays D, so it's kind of weird to see him on the O-line. Uh, but oh. uh, he is a veteran. Inside Ooh, out break there. Sneaky. Just got it. D stock. Looking for Rifkin deep. Pick call. So what does this mean for UPA Nationals? That's the real question. USA Ultimate Nationals coming up in the fall. It's really hard to tell. Um, you know, these guys are going to have different players when they go back to the States, you know. Yeah. Uh, I talked to a number of teams. Chad Larson Experience was telling me they had... Oh. Uh, Rose, couldn't, couldn't Moses, get all can you get that? Chad Larson Experience was telling me, Bryn, they have something like five or six of their D-line starters weren't here at Worlds because Ouch. they couldn't make it, afford it, or they couldn't find the time to get away from Puts work. Okay, here's a jump Love ball. It. It's going to go to Revolver. Oh, oh, but he doesn't pull it down. Mark Sherwood had that. Wasn't too far. He should have got that. It was a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think the energy's a little flat here. I agree. They're 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 getting a little tired and yeah. and putting it up a little soon. I think both teams are like, you know what? <laughs> it's time to drink some beer. Oh, I, I do not think that they think that, but <laughs> I think that. I think that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna ask that question to Mike Payne after the game. I'm yeah. gonna be like, Mike, uh, your team looked like they wanted to drink some beer at around 15:11. <laughs> what do you what do you what do you think? I think he'll react uh, unfavorably <laughs> to that suggestion. So, Brian, I'm going I'm to suggest that you ask that question. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's okay, here's a big look deep if he wants it. No, they're uh, falling in the side to chill out. too far a already bit. for yeah. that. There's Fleming. Now he's going to put it. No. Nope. But we shouldn't, um, in a way, I'm surprised. Oh, throws it away. Yeah, I guess that is a turn, huh? Revolvers. Fleming, that go? And might have been a stall call, actually, Brian. That might have been it. Might have been. And Jit with the disc. And works it up to much of, the much of this. Hand there. Oh, Ooh, nice Ooh, grab nice by there's, Revolver. Ah, Mark gets that one. <laughs> oh, nice. He's oh, push. It. It's a foul. It's a foul on Revolver. Uh, down the field there, just to push off. Accidental, really, more than anything else. But uh, two players ran into each other, and uh, that was a call. Uh, dishes it to Taylor. He huh. won Nationals. Uh, he won college, he won club nationals when he was 19 years old. <laughs> wow! <laughs> in the year 2000, Taylor did. He was like a sophomore in college. Oh wow! He's got nothing. Oh, Jit saves him at the last minute. So that guy's playing hard D despite the length of the point. A little nope. Couldn't get that off either. Foul called. You know, honestly, Brent, if that guy scores this point, they got they got something. 15-12. I mean. I mean, maybe they have something. <laughs> I'm not. It's can't well, really tell what's going. If, the, if they got any revolver, energy revolve, left. Revolver st scored four in a row earlier. I think that was four in a row. It was. Yeah. It was. I yeah. It was yeah. four. Oh. Another yeah. foul. It was. Uh, Sakai was receiving at. Oh, they're, oh, they're going to call that turn. Yes. Yes. And then they. So it was three in a row. Three in a row. And then it became nine six. Nice deep uh, by Mike Caldwell there. But it was three break. It was three D. Three straight D's in a row. Oh. He milked it for the oh, score. Caldwell's all over the place, man. But Mohawk's doing him well. Such a such a game of energy. I mean, who, who you see what it's like out here, energy? by the way, on the stands? It's packed. I mean, there's people standing everywhere trying to find. I mean, there's plenty of seats on the other side because it's burning hot and no one wants to go over there. Beautiful pull there. Nice pull indoor. Nice pull on the very back of the end zone there. The revolver is moving it up. Huck. Yeah, it he up. even got fouled on the mark. It's going to come back. Whatever Three happens. Three sockeye players. It doesn't players. even matter what happens. It's going back. It's a uh, backhand for us. Looking for, oh, nice yeah, bid there. A bid, but not any cast. Uh, can't quite get to it. Oh, sneaks it into bow. 
Revolver well, in good space pulling right in now. two to let one go deep. Then they all recycle back to the, to the horizontal Bo stack. with all the room he wants. Again, horizontal stack. One Great looks deep, one comes off. in. Cycle it back around. Reset. Now two, two go in. One's going to go out. That reset the and he pulls it up. It's going to go a little too far. And he oh. gets it. Way to make me look bad. I approve. 100% approve. A great layup by Bart Watson. He tracks that disc. It's flying on low. It's flying in fast. Look at that speed. Look at the closing speed. He comes in on there. He looked darn Zipperstein-like. Wow. 16-12. Uh, Here's Mac with the pull. This is game point. Game point for Revolver. They've slowly body punched Sakai to the point where I don't know what they've got left, but we'll find out. Again, Sakai setting up for the deep throw. I tell you, Wiggins told me before this game, he said, we're playing with house money. Okay, that's a great look. That's a great throw. Oh, uh -oh. even that was yes. Absolutely. Uh, money. I hope some photographers got a shot of that from the outside. Coming in from the outside, I think he hit that with his right hand. Can we going see who up. that was? I have that, number 28, I think. Yeah, it looked like 68, but there's no 68. Here Marty we go. Cochran. Here's the replay. We'll see how high off the ground he gets. Oof, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think that you're right, Martin Cochran, who used to play with Seattle. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh. oh, and it was right in his... It looked like that was right between his... Yeah. He didn't get a tough read, and he was going to go left or right hand, and he went with both hands, hoping it would stick in one or the other, and it went through the two of them. Okay. Can't blame him. So um, Ben was telling me before the game, and he said, listen, you know, we came to Worlds with a number of goals. You know, one was to, let me make sure I get my quote right, but um, one was to, uh, you know, play together as a team, concentrate at the highest level, and, uh, and be, be relaxed. Hang on, let me get this correct. It's a hard mark there. Saka's got the disc. S swinging it around. They're in a mostly vertical stack down the field. Mostly, uh, well, the, the mark looks to be more of a backhand. But quick foul there. Straight up vertical stack in this downfield. Sakai's looking, little forehand set up. Oh, he had him deep, but he comes back anyway. Flies up, pulls it down. Quick throw to the center. Oh. And puts it in. Thought I was going to scuba that for a second. Good point. So that was the that was 100 minutes. We'll see a replay of that. Uh, the last little putting that in there. Somebody come on. It's really hard to stop. Hard to at that at the end zone right like that. So we're out of regular time. Uh, so the game is officially time capped. The score is 13-16. Revolver is going to try to end it right here. And they'll have an opportunity. So we just heard the announcement. Um, you know, if it's tied at 16, it's a game to 18. So uh, so it's max cap at 18. It's going to go out of bounds. It's too bad for uh, Sakai. They could have used that. That could be the game right there, to be honest with you. You pull out of bounds at a position like this, give that much field position. Uh, that's not what you need. He, but yeah, you, you say you got to go for it. I mean, look, you know, you want to pin him back down there. So I know, but there's such know. a such a such a blur. Look lose at the that distance much. this I mean, guy is walking up the field, man. That's if you if 40 you, yards. Yeah, I, I think. Yards. Anyway, there's and Robert set setting up, up horizontal. See, he's coming back. This is at the boat, who's just open all day underneath. So anyway, what Wiggins literally said was, we're on the bonus level of Big Buck Hunter right now. <laughs> he said, like, we're shooting bats or something like that. Okay. He said, we came to this tournament to play together as a team and play the best that we can. Anything other than that is bonus. The so, rubber, uh, rubber is uh, just a throw away to, from the... And to get to the highest level of Big Buck is. Hunter. And there it is. Game winning champions. Revolver from San Francisco, Bay Area, California. Robbie yes, Cahill punches it in to number six. And here it is. That's Josh Wiseman. There it is. Unbelievable. Great game for Revolver. They just kept on the gas. Uh, you know what? They just they had control of that game. You know, ever since they took that three-goal run at the half, they never gave it up in the second half. Never gave it up from one bit.